Hello Cancer and welcome to your 2021 year ahead reading. We are going to be looking at some tarot cards and we are going to be seeing what energies you are going to be working with in the year 2021. So what I've done, I'm going to work with three decks to pull from the cards and then we are going to be looking one card at a time representing each month of the year. So let me start. So we have our tarot cards here and I love these cards and they are going to be opening up the year for you. If I could remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because that really gives you a fuller picture of the energies that you are working with. If you don't know where your planetary placement is, I will link in the description box below a website you can go to and you can input your details and the website will calculate for you your natal chart and it will let you know where all your planetary placements are and then you can come back and watch the relevant videos for you. And so this is the next row of the cards. I want to remind you also that these energies are generalized. So really take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't resonate because that's going to resonate with someone who is watching, someone else who's watching these videos. And this is the next quarter of the year. And then we're going to look at the last set of cards to see what they have. Now, with tarot, I just want to remind you that, you know, the energies that are here, they are almost like a heads up to say, if there's an energy that is here that you don't really like, you can make that decision to find ways to work around that energy so that energy doesn't manifest in a way that is here for you. So the tarot cards, the way I see it, they are here to say, hey, where you are going, there is some traffic, for instance. So let's say you are traveling somewhere and the satellite, the sat knife is saying to you, I'm going to recalculate for you because there is traffic where you are heading. And so you are going to be late. And then you could say to yourself, OK, recalculate and let's go a different way. So the tarot does the same type of way. Hey, if you go this way, there is going to be just these energies that can play out. So why don't you start putting in motion and recalculate a different way of doing things so that you can avoid anything that you don't want to experience. So I always sort of like put that title warning one because it is YouTube algorithms and also because I want to give you that heads up to say hey how can we find a way a detour around this anyway we're getting ahead of ourselves let's have a look to see if you have any major kind of cards and you have this card and this card and that's it all right so you have two major kind of cards at the end of 2021 but I am going to tell you at the end of this reading the most dominant energies that you are working with I'll give you a little hint we'll speak about why these energies are going to be dominant we are opening up this reading for you Cancer with a lovely card of the two of cups one of my favorite cards because as you can see with the imagery that we have here, we see our people really supporting wholeheartedly each other. This is a card that really encourages you to cooperate with another, with your heart wide opened, really giving with love. And the other person is going to really mirror that back to you. I love this energy because your heart is full, you have love, you have tenderness, you have compassion. And this is a wonderful card to really open up 2021 with. Just embrace this energy, call this energy into your life as you see this card on the screen. I really like that when people are watching these videos to really get involved. 
I think I'm co-creating with you. I am just the messenger and you are the person who is inviting these beautiful energies into your life and opening up the reading with the two of cups is really wonderful. So I love this reading for you. So as we now move over to the energy of February, we are now seeing that the energies are shifting a little bit. So now this is that energy that's saying, hey, recalculate your route because we have some energies here that are not really for the best. We have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is annoying, if anything, because it is the energy that speaks about petty fighting. You are not going to get hurt, but it is just annoying. It is an energy that the energy here, is not being directed in a constructive type of way. So in the imagery here, we just got five dogs fighting over sticks. They're just growling at each other. They are just, you know, this energy steals something from you, your peace, your harmony, your energy. So how can you harness this energy and put it into something more constructive, into something that builds you up instead of wasting your energy, maybe getting involved in gossiping, getting involved with whatever that is not constructive. Here in February, when you are invited to any type of fights, to any type of disagreement, be in that energy of removing yourself from that situation. Even if you look stupid, even if you look weak, don't be invited by your ego to just be and fighting and growling and nothing is gonna be achieved from this type of energy. And the divine is really emphasizing this, that you are gonna be proud yourself of yourself, that you didn't get sucked in in February in petty fighting. Because we are seeing that if you do get involved in any type of petty fighting, in fights, in conflicts, in gossiping, we now are moving over to the energy that is manifesting itself as the Nine of Swords. And as you can see, the Nine of Swords here in March is not a nice type of energy. The Nine of Swords is an energy that speaks about nightmares. It speaks about being uh, not being able to sleep, like sleepless nights because you are busy worried about something. Could it be that you are worried about a conflict that you were involved in? Could it be that maybe some nasty things were said and now they are just replaying themselves in your mind? Because understanding that the swords are about words, cutting, sharp words, harsh words. And these words do more damage than physical pain. Because when people say nasty things, we take this, we internalize this, we start worrying. What do they mean by that? What do they? And on and on it goes. So can you understand why here in February, you are really being warned to recalculate your actions and avoid any situations that are inviting you to argue, to fight, to gossip. Because in March, you are going to be paying for anything that you were involved in that didn't really mount up to anything constructive. So you have been given your heads up here to really Keep your words to a minimum. Don't get involved in, in anything. Just remain silent. And in doing that, you invite peace, harmony, instead of inviting this energy of the Nine of Swords. Now, Cancer. I am a Cancer moon. So I really understand the energies of Cancer. We're not usually the people who love fighting and disagreeing and all that type of stuff. Cancer people are usually quite gentle and loving and they're the type of people that can sometimes become doormats because 
not naturally fighters. And of course, it depends where your other planetary placements are. But in general, the general energy of Cancer is just a sweet type of energy that doesn't really want to get involved in conflict. So this is why perhaps you have been warned not to get involved in conflict because when nasty words are said, Cancer, you really take them to heart. You really sit with them and they really hurt you more than what maybe the person intended to hurt you. Maybe they just said a flippant remark, but that triggers something in you that really just starts spiraling out of control. But if you manage to avoid this situation here, we are seeing that in April, you have this energy that I love. And this is the energy of the Queen of Swords. Now, we spoke about the swords being about sharp words. They are about communication, our speech. Now, when we look at the queens, the queens are at the top of their game. So what does that mean, Cancer? The queens know when to speak and when to keep quiet. And because they know when not when to keep quiet, when they speak, everyone takes notice because when they speak, they are direct. They get straight to the point. They get to the heart of the matter without pussyfooting around. So this card sees you in authority. This card sees you being respected, being respected because you were not involved in any type of drama. You were not involved in any type of stupidness that was going on at the beginning of the year. You remained royal. You remained regal. You remained respectful. And you didn't get into the he said, she said type of scenario. And by not getting in that type of scenario, people then start looking at you here in April as someone with respect, someone with dignity. In April, you actually end up having the last word, but you remain respected, you remain dignified and graceful. So this is why you were being asked to reconsider February and to just be in a sense of removing yourself from conflict because you are going to be overthinking something. And by removing yourself from this conflict, when this person or these people or this situation comes back in April, you have had the time to think clearly, to know what you were gonna say and how you're gonna get to the point. What are the facts? How are you gonna hit hard where it hurts? But remaining regal and respected. So this is the first quarter of the year. And now let's move over to May, the second quarter of 2021. And again, we are opening back up with the energy of support, of love, of unity, of cooperation, the energy of flowing again. So we're back into this type of energy. And I see that this year, this is the energy that is gonna be really important for you. Embrace this energy that brings out support for other people out of you. Embrace the energy that sees you feeling loved, feeling supported, feeling heard, feeling nurtured. Because this is the energy that is going to be really strong for you in 2021. Invite this energy Invite it as much as you can. And even if you can pause on this video and just meditate on these two cards and really open up your heart and invite this energy of support, of cooperation, of flowing, of gracefulness, of respect, of being seen, being embraced. And so we move over to, to June. And now in June, there's an energy of planting seeds that could see you reaping some rewards on a material basis. This is financial type of card. 
and the aces are the potential, they're the seeds. So they could be just an idea that comes in here in June and this idea really sparks up something in you. Maybe to start your own business, maybe to start something that can start seeing your money grow, your possessions grow. So you are being invited to really be on the lookout for any ideas that spark up that energy that can see you changing your financial position for the good. Because we can see that our seed has the potential to really grow roots and to grow and then start paying you back. But this card is the card that asks you, the divine is gifting you something, take it. And what will you do with it, Cancer, is the question. So we are seeing again, we are back to that energy of competition, that energy of five of wands, that energy of again, gossiping, petty fighting. So again, you're being told to stay away from this energy. What is going on, Cancer? Maybe as you are in love, as you are feeling supported, other people are getting jealous of that. And in their jealousy, they are wanting to start something with you. But remember, you are the queen. Remember, you are the queen of swords. So don't lower yourself to this type of energy. And because this energy was here in February, and this energy is returning again in July, you're being given that heads up again because you know what happens when you engage in this type of energy. So again, you've been given that heads up cancer to just stay away from this. Now the queen of pentacles is next. I love how you always finish the quarter of the year with the queen. Again, royal, regal. So we see you being gifted this divine idea from the divine cancer that can see you growing your money into something amazing and then temptation comes in to put your energy into something that is not constructive but you're wise you've already been given the heads up you're not stupid you're not gonna waste your time gossiping about this and that who cares so you are excusing yourself from this energy and you are focusing on your pentacles you are focusing on watering your seed you are focusing on really growing this and putting your energy into this because if you do we see you here as the queen of pentacles remember what i said about the queens not only are they royal and regal the queens are mature so you are reaching a certain level of maturity when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your money. So in August, you are really looking at your money and you are sitting pretty. You are feeling provided for. You are in a good space. So really focus, harness more and more of that energy into this energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Next, we see you not only good with your money we see you opening your hand and being willing to share with others your money you're being charitable you're being giving you're being that energy that understands balance you are being balanced so how can you balance your money and in balancing your money, how can you understand that it's nice to be charitable? So how can you also be charitable? But don't be a doormat. This is you doing something because you want to. Not because your family expects you to give them money. Not because this and that is asking to beg you for some money. No, this energy is saying you are giving with an open arm. You are giving with an open heart. And in giving with an open heart, you open up that energy to receive from the divine. Maybe you go past a homeless person and something in you, in your intuition, just says, hey, give that person some money. And because you felt that message, you just go and do it. 
And so you are understanding that you cooperate and you co-create with the divine by being an earth angel here on earth, giving when you feel that it is the right thing to do. And in giving, you open up the energies where the divine can bless you. So you receive, but you also give. So you're understanding that the two go hand in hand together, Cancer. So as we are moving over from September to October, we see you again all over your money again. And now you are the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles are all about cooperation, about teamwork, about collaborating with other people, maybe. So maybe here you're being invited to collaborate with a team of people. Maybe you are employing other people. You're growing your team. There is just an energy of teamwork. There is just an energy of working together. This is a lovely energy because it is beautifully supported, Cancer. So you are feeling supported. You are feeling balanced. You are feeling supported because you have a good team that you're working with. And then we have our major arcana cards that are now coming in. And so the major arcana card that you have is the judgment card. Cancer, maybe now as we are drawing to the close of 2021, you have some important questions to ask. In 2022, what do I want to release, to let go? Looking back at 2021 and looking back at the challenges, what did I learn? What are the lessons that I will take and keep and treasure? And what is it that I need to let go? So you are here looking at your, li at your life through a lens of wisdom, of discernment, a lens of asking questions, the hard questions, a lens that asks you, to then be brave enough to let go of anything that no longer serves you. So here in November, be in that energy of starting asking the questions, what have I learned so far? What challenges were hard? What was easy? What were my blessings? Because there are blessings too. And what do I want to take into 22, 2022? And what do I want to leave here in 2021? So you are in the energy of the judgment. And not only cancer, are you in that energy of the judgment? You are in the energy of realizing, like I was saying, I already jumped ahead. So you realized that there are some things that you need to release. You need to let go. You need to surrender because we have the death card. And the, the death card is actually an energy that I really like because it's an energy of transformation. It's an energy of rebirth. It's an energy that asks you to cleanse. So we saw you here in November already in that energy of cleansing, letting go, asking the questions, making the judgments. So now maybe in December, you are now ready to wipe the slate clean. You have made your judgments in November. And in December, you are wiping the slate clean, getting ready for January 2022. Here we see you in the energy of letting go so that you can move on. The energy that is of closure. And it's an energy that really sees you accepting that there might be some minor mistakes that you made in 2021. But what do mistakes mean? Mistakes mean that you grow. So really mistakes are a wonderful opportunity of growth. They are a wonderful opportunity to learn. I don't believe in mistakes because I see them as opportunity to learn through experience. Because when we experience something, we really grasp the lesson. When we experience something and we realize, oops. And then when we get retested with the same type of energy, we're like, no, thank you. I know what happened last time. It's not happening again this time. 
This time I'm gonna focus on me and growing my empire. So do you understand how in life certain mistakes, certain energies represent themselves and ask you, will you make that mistake again? Did you learn the lesson? And you were like, yes, I would not make that mistake again. Yes, I learned the lesson and I will go and focus on me, on my world, on my kingdom, and I'll focus on growing my wealth. So this is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I wish you all the best of luck in 2021. Don't forget to share this video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. On that note, I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.